In the last video here, we toured the extensive front gardens at the Hortus Arboretum, which featured a range of cold hardy fruits, nuts, and ornamentals. But the experience didn't stop there because Scott and Allison had more to reveal in the shade garden and back area. So, so here's some more ginger-like stuff. Sasa vecchiai, it's a dwarf, slow running bamboo. Okay. Bottle brush buckeye, beautiful native. It reminds me of like very large actia flowers, yeah. you know? Yeah. This is the only thing I've seen swallowtails swarm on. They seem to really, they're not right now, but they, they really love this plant. Really and this cool. is oh, yeah. a, uh, a Betty Magnolia. This is, this could be a Betty or a Jane could be also. It's Betty and Jane is back No, there. I was gonna say that could be a Magnolia for your oh, spot that you're thinking yes. of. Moderate yeah. growing. That they're Brooklynenses too. Those were the um, the little girl series. Yeah, I'll have to take a look at the Brooklynenses and just take a look at the the the, the range of them. You know, this is a great little back area. Yeah. Look at this. For picnics when, when, or when our little daughter parties. got married, we cleared this for the tent for it. So now this has become an area where classes can come and people can picnic. And so this is Shisandra berry juice with a tiny bit of sugar. Delicious. I didn't get us a cup. Well, that's okay. We, can, we get to have it a lot. We do. That's very nice. Right? Yeah. It's a nice medicinal, too. Right? Yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, we yes. didn't even show you that yeah, vine, but yeah. it's a we, beautiful we have vine. One, we have one by the chickens, mm -hmm. so oh, you yeah, can show it by the chickens. Oh, yes. We have one of them. <laughs> I think of strawberry lemonade to me. It's like berry, it's like it lemon peel little, with a... With a little bit of rhubarb. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Oh, my God, this is great. <laughs> Sandra's like, you ain't hold my camera? <laughs> They, well, I'll, we'll show you the vine and the chickens. Cause they, you um, uh, Russians and Chinese people, they use this drink and the berries yeah. uh, pre-Olympic for sports because now you're going to have all this energy and want to yeah. do all these things very quickly. <laughs> I have some of this yeah. dried. You yeah. do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a, right. They call it um, five spice. Wait, is a five taste five berry. Five flavor berry. Five flavor, yeah. Yep. I love it. I was putting it in fruit and nut balls and eating it out of hand. It's been wet, massive amounts of rain. I feel like it's better than a drought. <laughs> oh, hello! Show you the Shisandras. Okay, I'm getting distracted already. They turn scarlet red mm -hmm. when they're ripe. This is a small one, we have a gigantic. This was a kind of a, a layer that we started a new plant. This is Eastern Prince as a cultivar because it's a self-fertile. Hmm. It's by, from the, Vlava, the, Vas the Vavilov Institute in, in, in Russia which breeds, it's like their Cornell for, for fruit improvement. So okay. this is um This hearty. is Shizandra as well. This is... Um, apricot vine, is I think it, this one vine? is apricot and it's zone eight or zone nine. So, but I, again, I'm thrilled because it's root hardy. Right. It showed me a little bit of green. Right, is this it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep, and that's it for now, but yeah. we'll see because yeah. um, the flowers are, instead of it being white and cream, they're yellow and uh, There's one red. that's strawberry yeah. and yeah. apricot. There's our girls. Oh, 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 are you, do you have chickens? They're very smelly right now. Oh, oh I don't girls. mind. Hello, ladies. They're like, mm, mm, no, not. What do you got for us? Not my, uh, oh, look at, look at, she's like, excuse yeah. me? The, did yeah. you say food? Yeah. Did food, you say food, you wait. brought some uh, of the mulberries or something? <laughs> mm -hmm. Elderberries? No. We've tried every type, of, not every type, but we've tried a lot of chickens over 20 years. Yeah. I just don't get attached, but I actually am fond of these girls. I can't help but get mm -hmm. attached. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you have a lot of chickens? I mean, I just, I, I have a soft spot you, you in my heart. That means she has 50 chicken chickens? Hugging. Is that what no, that means? No, we don't have any <laughs> chickens yet. I still take care of the chickens in, in Brooklyn. Okay. And, but I like, I'm, I feel like it's a soap opera. Like I'm really invested in their whole dynamic, you know? <laughs> I was like saying, oh, there's a lot of jewelweed around here. Yeah. And then I just saw the poison ivy, yeah. Yeah. you know, right here. Oh, well, yeah. and right this, here. This How do you year, recognize that again? The three leaves and it's the middle mining. one is longer, right? Uh, yeah, the little petiole is a little longer. And then, but there's a lot of Furry. jewel. Jewelweed, yeah. they, they tend to say they grow um, in relationship to one another. Right. So, so this is a lot of times people say, well, this is a, a cure for your it's poison. Ivy. Absolutely not. No, <laughs> it does help with bee stings. Though. Great it's for got wasps. A, it's like aloe. It's, it is cool. cool. You're like, absolutely yeah. not. Yeah. I've tried it. <laughs> you know what it is? We're, we're putting, keeping it in certain places. Yeah. Um, 
because Japanese beetles, they're going, Japanese beetles are going to that plant and not some of the more choice plants oh, around it. Interesting. So, use it in flower. Yeah. yeah. It's in the impatience family. Yeah, and it looks as it, as it looks like it, yeah. and a nice impatience flower. Yeah. And you get them in, in orange and yellow, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, there's yeah, a yellow. There's a lot of yeah. variability in the... Yeah. Yeah. And Yellows, sometimes kind of in between. I think the yellows tend to be a little bit taller, or at least in our area, they mm -hmm. tend to be that way. Um, I know a lot of people will just harvest the gel and put them in ice cube trays to save it for different parts of the season. What's, is this like a porcelain berry or what is this? So yes, beady berry it's, group it's, here. Yeah, so this is um, a snow berry. Okay. Simplocarpus. Simple New York City, I've seen, has done a lot of plantings with this because it's, um, it's kind of a brute in the sense it, it could be ignored, Tough. it could be in I shade, yeah. and um, it produces beautiful berries. I say. So uh, these are all kind of related. Berries. Yeah. It's like they have them all. Oh, yeah. It's like you refer to another yes. one. It's like yeah. yeah, that's right behind that's you. Yeah. <laughs> and then then we have the the native one because this coral is coral berry, which is yeah. this one. No, I was saying we even have the native beauty oh, berry, yeah. Yeah. which yeah. this one is that. <laughs> That's a beautiful. Again, not supposed to grow in our area. Yeah. We found Sometimes someone who hardy. had an old specimen and we dug some up and it's doing really well. Mm. It's also yeah. woodiness. Getting yeah. something that's a baby, I always say the reason I think we're successful in growing a lot of things that people are not is we're willing to, when you buy a rare plant, it's six inches. Mm -hmm. It's shipped to you. And if you put a six inch plant with a root system like mm -hmm. this, it never makes it past zero degrees. So yeah. if you take that and you coddle it for, I watered something or we've Three, watered for five, years, five six yeah. years before I put it in the ground. So right. it's thick and woody mm. and, the, and, and the root system is big yeah. and then put it and it makes it. And so a lot of what we have rare things, yeah. it's just, being patient. It's, we're gardeners. We yeah. have the patience. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. we know. And that's also part of doing process art, right? That that whole... Well, if you're, you're spending yeah. 12 years on one of your art pieces, you know, yeah. I... <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And these are done and there's almost nothing. This is a uh, There's a little part. bit. Kelly so, yeah. the, the Aphrodite. Yeah. 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 Really beautiful. This, this one this is really Hartledge beautiful. wine. This is Hartledge wine, but the one next oh, to it okay. is Aphrodite. Yeah, and it generally that's... flowers maybe two weeks after yeah mm -hmm. really so, and now because they're a little bit they're aged they're actually doing a second uh, yeah this is a second flowers. Yeah. this but was done about covered. a month ago yeah it was really beautiful and remind me this has a kind of a stinky flower right so uh, no, i actually like it i don't think this one well let's it's um You're relative. it's an aromatic yeah. flower <laughs> so depending on how you yeah. choose that stinky yes. wonderful aromatic um, it, i thought you were going the route of parentage because no. so the parentage is complicated they both have the native and the asian okay but the, um, which one do we call that one? The um, um, this Aphrodite is the, also yeah. has Western. Uh, that's Aphrodite. So it's got three parents in there. Okay. This has two parents. And then behind you, and I, she hates me because she's hidden and I really need to come back in here. Um, this one is, what's the yellow, the yellow one? Yellow Athens. This is Athens with the, this smells it like tutti frutti. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, and it's Michael, native. Michael Durer found that one. Yeah, it's a native. Person. Um, and I promise I'll get back and this to you is a, soon. And this is the white one. Which is this? So this has Chinese. Yeah, here it is. Oh, yeah. It's flowering. So this is complicated too because this has Chinese parentage mm -hmm. and we have just a straight Chinese species in China mm -hmm. and they all have the little black dots, dots in there. But so do both of these as well, which over time you oh, start yeah, to see. The, yeah. There's a better display of the flowers. But stunning. I don't care that they have the little black. Yeah. And I see this also in people who grow this in England have the same issue. So okay. it's just but it's part more of the cosmetic, parenting. right? It's only cosmetic. Yeah. Yeah. It's only I mean this is probably what, twelve, fifteen years old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we have um Just goes to show you though kinda of how it bushes out, you yeah. need to give it its space. It needs yeah. space. Um, this is all calicanthus. It just needs a tidy in here, but okay. there's the native one as well. There's the well. native one with the small flower in the back. You can yeah. see the little red one. Yeah. Just straight back. It's tiny. You can take a step. Yeah, you can go in there. Yeah. You're fine. At, at a certain point, all yeah. gardeners become victim to their own success, <laughs> and mature gardens crowd into each other. Yep. 
Yeah, this is a Stewardia Japanica. So that's like one of the really ones that have really nice spark. Yeah. This one seems a bit more subdued, though. It well, could get darker, winter, right? It's more intensified. Yeah. The the yeah the the, the coppery colors yeah. and because it it looks like a darker sycamore yeah. to me, kind of yeah. 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 And here's some of the flowers. Yeah. One oh, of the yeah, flowers that's left. Yeah. Again, a double, that's a late yeah. bloomer. Yeah. This, I would say, has been flowering for the last two weeks, and the, um, the gravel path has been littered Strewn with them. Strewn with them. Yes. And to, to give you an idea, I use the stamens for artwork. She's, so I've been coming, oh, collecting, and. Yeah. Um, Do you yeah, grow saffron here? Speaking yes, of stamens, yes, we do. Okay. We, do. <laughs> we do. The greenhouse. Because yeah. yeah. again, that's zone seven, eight. Right, yeah. okay. Uh, really this is fun. Yeah so, yeah, so this is our first enclosed garden. So before we did any deer fencing, this, yeah. Scott went ahead and built this. We thought, oh, this will keep the deer out, <laughs> which is a joke. And the original <laughs> garden yes. were joke. these four posts. One, two, three, four. That was the size okay. of my first garden. This is a climbing hydrangea? It is. Okay. It's, um, I forget the species name of that. And then there's another one there. And now what we're trying to do is move from a little less perennials, going more to woody taxa, just um, for lots of different reasons. But the bergamot really took over here, huh? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is like yeah. your bergamot garden. Ber bergamot always <laughs> yeah. really takes yeah. over. Yeah, yeah. Is does. this the Jacob Klein one? Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. And then there's one that's more fuchsia -y oh, back yeah, I there. See that one in the back, yeah. There's some so honeysuckle. It's yeah. in the mint family, Sonder, so mm -hmm. you'll you'll have um you could probably smell a little bit of it. It's it's very actually the the dark, the big leaf is not as minty as I thought it would be. Yeah, that's that one. Oh here. That's a little mintier. So this was the first garden that we actually put fruit trees in. So the remaining ones is this mulberry okay. that I pollard in winter. I don't want it here anymore, it's, um, but I, we, we're keeping it for now. I pollarded it a little too late, so I missed the fruit. But because mulberry fruits on new wood, I generally get this yeah, to have a lot of um, berries on it. And okay. th that's for the birds. And what did you do with it? I pollard it, so yeah. I basically cut back all of the growth from the previous year. Up to where? Up to like, it becomes these little stubs, stubs. Oh, okay. um, which you can kind of see. It's not attractive, but it's a traditional way for getting firewood mm -hmm. or wood for basketry. So it's kind of, I keep going to like these they, the, hormonal the, centers the, here. The guy who wrote the book who teaches pruning for the New York Botanical Garden, that he, cause he was asked to do the trees in, in, in the Metropolitan Museum how to pol how to pollard pol mm -hmm. pollard them mm -hmm. and the 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 whole book is him going through europe trying to find old people who used to do this and learning how to do it mm. and all traveling all over the world and, the, and it's it's a fascinating process because that arose out of neolithic culture people took trees and let their animals graze and then the, with the ones that they didn't want they would mm -hmm. they would grow up to their head pole, like head form, and then grow and then cut those. And that went into weft for all, for architecture, for building thatched houses and stuff in Europe. It went hand in hand. It's, it's pretty interesting. Look at how your perilla or your yeah. shiso oh, yeah. is, it's coming up everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Even through the stones. So this is, you could, based, on um, what you just saw in the South Garden. Yeah. This is more like the wild kind of cottage garden, the perennials. We do have the, um, behind, behind you is the Arctic Kiwi that, that's the first place we ever grew it was yeah. along this, which is under a, a white butternut. The one that's vining yeah. along this. The one that we actually, was like a tent that we went exactly. under. And then the one that I had talked about being on the divorce tour that didn't flower or fruit is the Chinese. And you could see the petioles on that. Oh, It's yeah. really very red. And now we, we have, have bunches fruit. of fruit. Yeah. So yeah. this will ripen in the beginning of October. Different? Yeah. They are better. Okay. They are pineapple. better than the other kiwi. B bitter or better? Better. 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 Okay, with, with the pineapple flavor. Okay. Kind More of complex. a berry flavor. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. it's excellent. Yeah, it is better. She was right. Butter. <laughs> Wait, did you get that? 
You heard camera. that, right? On she camera. Right, yeah. Um, but if you're had... willing to wait 12 years for, <laughs> for taste something good, <laughs> if you're willing to, to wait 12 years and get four pieces wait, of cut, fruit, cut, that's better. Cut. Hey, but you're willing to wait 12 years for your artwork to be done. That's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. What's true, the diff? It's true. <laughs> you are. There's elderberry from like 20 years ago, the York and the Adams that's still kind okay. of in here. So there's still some remnants of what we planted, the peach tree, the cherry, the plum, they are long gone. Um, because then we found out we had a whole nother area that we could grow that had sun, right? This is yep. part shade. Um, this is a kibia vine. So this produces these weird fruits. We never find them until they like either flop on the floor. Right. Um, this is related to the dead man's finger has very early, beautiful spring flowers that are small, but they can be very prolific. Where is it originally from? Um, China. So China, different parts of um, Asia in terms of mountains. In, in, in Japan. In Japan, 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 Korea, yeah. Taiwan. And it's, um, you know, it grows in forested areas and it reaches up climbing on trees mm -hmm. to get to the sun. The fruit, it looks like almost like um, it's from Mars. almost like a, a dark, banana cluster in a way, mm -hmm. with fingers coming out, and when it's ripe, it turns pur light purple, Ooh, um, bizarre with looking, polka dots. Yeah. and it cracks open, and you get this like white gelatinous, yummy Prized pulp in Japan. with yeah. little black seeds that are a little bit bitter. So it kind of reminds me of like a white dragon fruit with the, the black seeds. Exactly. In it. Yeah. 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 So a little smaller the seeds. Is it gelatinous? Like is it like yeah. mucusy? Okay. Just like yeah. tapioca. Like tapioca. Okay. Yeah. okay. I, I find it pleasant. We like yeah. it. It's a, unusual flavored. Yeah. So and then this is the woodland area, which we're now really starting to develop and we're putting in both ephemeral and perennial natives. Um, kind of starts this way. This is this was all. This is where we had wall and landfill, and so we've been slowly opening things up. These are, oh, so you're, you've inoculated some shiitake logs, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah? yeah. Nice. Had two flushes early on. Since then, usually they like the cooler weather. Maybe in the fall. Yeah, this is a fall strain, yeah. so this tends to fruit in um, September. Blue cohosh here kind of putting medicinal wildflowers. We're starting to kind of fill this. Yeah. Someone we worked for had had black cohosh seed itself for 20 years and she wow. did not want it. It's a rare wildflower. So yeah. really? we, we'll take it. We'll, we dug up like 50 plants. So we've been yeah. blessed with this glorious display of this rare okay. wildflower. Right. Yeah. yeah, beautiful. People are over harvesting this for medicinal purposes. Yeah, and they there's a lot of um, cultivars on the market, yeah. but they're not the, the based PSG. off the native yeah, ones, yeah. Right. yeah. And I'm not sure what good pollinators they are when yeah. it's, when they're bred that way. And this yeah. is a great, it's just yeah. glorious. It's so lucky, yeah. it's so beautiful. That's just last year. Yeah, put in last Snake year. Snake bark maples, moosewood. Sassafras. Yeah. Tons of sassafras. Yeah. That's just coming up, yeah, right? You didn't. This is probably uh, all sassafras yeah. at one we point. We dug up. We, we planted a tree. I have a mm -hmm. huge amount of sassafras root, if you'd like, because I brew root beer. Mm -hmm. Wild, Wild ginger. ginger. Is this like the celandine, or what is it? It looks, it's, it looks like it. It's poppy. a poppy. It's a native. It gets confused with, okay. with it. I think it's related. It gets a beautiful yellow, butter yellow flower in yeah. spring. Much I'm larger. Thinking, I'm thinking you are. Like Celadon. Yeah. 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 And the leaf, it's, the leaf is different. That's the only way you right. would know it. Okay. May apples, we're, we're, May we're, apples? we're moving we're May apples them. over here. Did you plant these? Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. From and, a different area. And, and this yeah. is okay. caged because our new beautiful dog started to tear <laughs> yeah. into here and chew things up. Because of the so, compost, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're approaching an area that we didn't even know was ours for the first two years of living here. Okay, so that's uh, strange. How does that happen? Because I think I just came across, so Scott found, came out. We, it's a trillium. Yeah. Yeah. Scott came and bought the house while we still lived in San Francisco. And the woman said the shack that was there here, was a this, tar is, shed. this is where <laughs> your property ends. And then we got the deed and looked at it because we were going to go to Italy and looking for a passport. And the deeds showed the shed and then it showed the end of the property going there. And I said, this means that, that no, <laughs> no one's taking care of that for two yeah. years. We didn't yeah. know whose it was and that's because it was ours. I was like, oh, great. So this was all, um, we call it the field garden because it was all low bush blueberry, yarrow. And this is high um, bush blueberry, another 
Oh yeah, that's loaded. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is. I think this may be Dark. different. Different. Yeah, it's different. Like it doesn't have the bloom mm -hmm. on it. It doesn't have the this bloom. Could be I a think different, a different species. Different yeah. species of it. Yeah. I didn't realize blueberries as complicated after writing the book mm -hmm. as it is in terms of. I think I have to. These are too soft here. Maybe try this one. Mm. Oh yeah, that's really sweet. Mm -hmm. Ooh. So this is what we started. Oh, here's some of the ones that I was thinking about. Ah, uh, yeah, like the black negligee. Yeah, or, mm -hmm. yeah. Those are, I've now turned this into a toad lily and, and, mm -hmm. uh, or a semia bed. Um, yeah, this is new. You it know the, um, the corpse flower that all the arboretums have? Yeah. There's one in that genus that's hardy. Yeah, it's called konjac, that's, and it's over here. And I, I, again, I'm just trying it out. It, it's a small one though, right? Yeah. yeah. This, is, this is that one. Yeah. yeah. Although a couple of these have gotten pretty tall. I mean, like <laughs> these. But yeah, this is all, we've been moving. I moved them two or three at a time. Been working on this bed, because this was in a bed out there nobody ever saw, so yeah. I kind of moved it yeah. in. Yeah, it was pretty special. Rogersia? Oh, Rogersias, yeah. these are nice. There's a, there's a, Cultivar that gets a really bronzy yes. red. Yeah, yeah beautiful. Yeah, it. it's called chocolate wing. Chocolate wing. Yeah. Uh, well, in spring I could dig one of those yeah. up for you. Yeah, it's I, one I of these in it. here. Yeah. There's like three I or four. I and then it loses that. I think it's it's um it's on this side. I think it's like this group in here. Mm. I um yeah, there's four or five of them in here. So that's a, a bug. So it's dug out, plastic lined, and then peat moss and com, com, not peat moss compost and manure and right. soil okay. so it stays wet like a bog. Nice. It's a, and, we have a and then you find bog. that's how it likes it yeah. likes to it keep likes the yeah. moist slightly wet feet. Okay. But this is yeah. also part shade. Yeah. So it the combination it. of that yeah maintains it. Um, and this is one yeah. of my favorite babies. These are the these are the Baltic quinces, the new ones that can be eaten raw, mm. but it's a Baltic it has like a pineapple, much better cooked, but this is basically the Mediterranean quinces from Italy and Greece that have like the pineapple and peach kind of flavor. They make divine applesauce with, with a really, really wonderful, it's excellent. And this one's Kaganskaya, and then there's a Russian one that's Arana Matanaya, and then I have one called Tex that's over there. So the whole field used to look like this. We kept three beds of the low bush blueberry, yeah. just to kind of remind us. We're, we're now just starting to refurbish the beds because they haven't been producing fruit. Um, but, are these the crocosmias? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Lucifer. Lucifer, those are like the most popular, yes. I feel, yeah. yeah. And yeah, they're the, reliable. Yeah, the other they're ones reliable. we've had. And this is one of the subtropical fruit trees that I bring in. This is dwarf tamarillo. Oh, it looks like that a solanaceous the, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, oh, is yeah, it? Yeah. yeah. It produces a, um, a spicy berry that's like an apricot with maybe a little bit of chili pepper. It makes huh. a great jam. Huh. I can give you one of those I because it reseeds itself. I mean, I feel like I should have been taking a list. This <laughs> is what they are when they're mature. Kind okay. of they're like this. Yeah. You can kind of see the solanaceous mm -hmm. flowers. And then some of them have already got the berries started. And I've done, I get four or five harvests of small berries mm -hmm. that I, that, and then the last one, I bring this in to our house around um, October, and then these ripen, the last berries ripen around um, Thanksgiving time, and then I cut it to like that, mm -hmm. and then it, then it just grows back again. It's a little smelly. Do you is smell it? the leaves? Yeah, unpleasant. Do you, do you get yeah. it? I, yeah, this is like, would be like kind this. Of an oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, it's one of those things, the fruit's delicious, yeah. but you know, it might be a little bit offensive to yeah. someone in Perhaps terms of having best it in the house. house plant. Uh, one little two foot, this is strawberry guava. This one little plant, it was half this size. I got three guava last year, and now it's completely covered with flowers. So I expect I'm gonna, this will be covered with guavas. Nice. The little yeah. yellow Mexican ones that are like a creamy strawberry flavor, wonderful. That's Buddha's hand citron, right, another yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. And wacky, yeah. 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 And then behind you, that is flowering quince. So this, a lot of people don't even realize, um, does fruit if you have more than one plant okay. present for it to cross pollinate. It's so shrubby. It yeah. is shrubby, yeah. and there's lots of. When we, we were doing research, there's like 600 different varieties and cultivars over the years, wow. and. Um, 
We actually will prep the fruit. It takes a lot of work, but it mm -hmm. makes a wonderful membrillo or quince mm -hmm. jam. Yeah. Spicy so, lemon cranberry yeah, flavored mm -hmm. scarlet jelly. Really Plus it's wonderful. a beautiful old fashioned spring shrub mm -hmm. with great colored flowers mm -hmm. that could be orange or red or yellow. Very pretty. This is like a Native American chewing corn. I always say that because like the most, the corn now that's bred in supermarkets mm -hmm. is just for sugar. Right. This is like a textured starchy thing for butter and sugar. Mm. It's a, it's called triple play. It's wonderful. I, I adore this. That's why I'm lining beds with a lot of it. This looks like a euphorbia. It is. So it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's called fire on the mountain. Mm -hmm. So we had maybe four seeds yeah. and now it's become a very pleasant problem that, um, yeah. that, that There's leaf. thousands of them. Yeah. Is that that just chevron. growing in there? Yes. Okay. Yes. And that's, We've had people weed, yeah. so and you're not even yeah. seeing. And I, I make artwork with it's, the leaves. It's, yeah. it's so an annual poinsettia. It's yeah. very closely related yeah. to poinsettia. Yeah. So it'll turn fire engine red and orange on the top. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. But look at the leaf shape. They're, they're be it's it's beautiful. Cool. It's a yeah. nice problem to have. And this is a pitcher plant bog, the, yeah. the carnivorous bog. I'm going to expand this. This was the starter I've had for a long time. Not there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look, it's starting to eat. I don't know if you can see inside of there. I, I saved the old pictures, Scott, in terms of um, the showing the insides. They start around September eating because all of the flowers, oh yeah, there you go. That's even better. There's a whole bunch of dead oh, yeah. um, insects in there. They're digesting the, them, breaking them down. So we're gonna take out that terrible prunus, which I insisted on having several years ago. <laughs> it's just not Because it, it's a sour cherry, it's just, they all die here, they, they die. get diseases. So we'll expand this out. do a out. huge, big um, bog. bog. Okay, nice. And then one other thing, I didn't think we had fruit on this this year. This we is a, a very weird plant. So this is Shipova. And it's weird because it's two different genus. So the bottom part is, is it European pear or is the white I, I, beam? It's, it's hornbeam ash. It's hornbeam, yeah. okay. So it's hornbeam ash on the top and then it's European pear yeah. that's oh, grafted. Wait, it it's an interspecial cross. Yeah. It's a mountain ash crossed no, with a pear. A, but is it in this inter, yeah. uh, intergeneric? Intergeneric. It's called, okay. um, why, what's the, but, but what's, then it must be- the correct word for that? Inter, yeah. it, it must be mm. um, in the same Family it then. It's related. It's okay. a different genus. Intergeneric, I thought it yeah, was. That is the correct yeah. term. So like you'll have an X here. before yeah. the scientific name. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Exactly. And the fruit, so this is one of those plants you, you plant knowing it's going to take 12 years until you actually get anything. Mm -hmm. And so the first year we, we got it, we coddled it, we brought it in, we had it on the table. We There's small little pears. And we tasted, we were like, oh. We both spit it out simultaneously. Is that what we've been growing this yeah. for? And then it, another two years later, we had some more fruit, a little bit better. better. Two years ago, even more fruit, much better, even like perfumey yeah. and fragrant. Um, it's, this is like a plant collector's plant, it's right? It's stingy Just to try after, and after, after 14 or 15 oh, years, eight, you can see. This is like 16, yeah, 18 Yeah, this is what you're old. getting after yeah. that. It's, it's a collector's plant. For people who want a bountiful fruit tree, this is not. This ain't it. Mm -hmm. You're not. You, if you're growing yeah. everything and you want something you're not growing, you try a <laughs> Shipova. So. How, uh, this one's incredible. This is where someone's taken a hoichia and crossed it with an American persimmon. And it took 12 years again to get the fruit from this, but it was phenomenal. It was really delicious. And there is fruit on it this year. It's been a really wet year. This doesn't like heavy amounts of, of wet. Mm. And Nikita re refers to the Nikita's Botanical Garden in the Ukraine. They breed lots of really wonderful fruit trees. They're great. And these these are, were delicious last yes, year. Yes, yeah. And this is pawpaws, hillbilly mangoes. <laughs> hillbilly mangoes. Hillbilly. I, don't, I can't believe I've never heard of that hillbilly like colloqu mangoes, colloquial Indiana, term. Banana. Wild yeah. Indian, wild Michigan banana. Tastes like um, Banana custard, banana with Have you had a tiny bit of mango. I've had pawpaw, but uh, what what uh, variety is this? So uh, these are this, this this is Mitchell, I think. Okay, because that, that's one of the. This is Taylor. That's, that's, that's Mitchell. That that's like mango the, behind you. There's mango. To grow. Yeah. You know, within the forest, there's like a cleared area within the forest, and I was like, I see all pawpaws here. 
This is again, no, no major pests, no problems. It gets hit by animals, but they don't. A few of them get chewed. You just have to check every morning because they start to ripen and drop I, off. I think it has some kind of toxicity though in its leaf that generally would prevent you know, deer from eating it, I hear. Yeah, and a non-assay family may have yeah. like a toxicity. Yeah. Um, the one thing people don't realize is that this has um, enormous root system and will, has a tendency to sucker. Yeah. Oh, and so if you allow it to sucker, yeah, like you'll these. never see the fruit. Here you are. Yeah, see the suckers, you have to, you have to keep the suckers at bay. Because okay. if you allow these to come in, it'll reproduce by suckering and it'll stop. I see. Fruit. Okay, Such that's a really good tip. Go the forest in the south, yeah. they have these. People like There's I've no seen fruit. tons of like yeah. big pawpaw stands yeah. with yeah. no fruit or flowers. Yeah. We're like, that's because it's doing what it, it's, that, that's the nature of that's a, a nice plant, plant, right? It's to, to keep increasing itself. It's only going to do fruit and if it feels like pressured. Right, to yeah, exactly. Seed. It's saying, oh geez, I'm, I must, I must to right. reproduce now, yeah. That's right. Cause, cause it's cutting everything off, right? Yeah. <laughs> and this we say you plant for your grandkids because it takes a long time for it to it's, really- It's 10 to 12 years. Yeah. Or when yeah. you get a house, it's the first thing you put in. Yeah, yeah. that's okay. why we were saying, oh man, I wish we could do it like, because the, the, we just got in okay. and we're like, oh, I, we should be doing it. But we, we wanted to extend the deer fence and uh, although it's yeah. supposed to be pretty, Deer don't really browse it, we, so we hear, but who knows? Yeah, yeah. To, be if you're going yeah. to be careful about it. And when they're three feet, and when they're small seedlings, they need shade. But then once they become established, they want full sun. I see. And we started planting them for people where we put a baby plant and then put a, a tomato cage around them with a shade cloth over yeah. them for a couple it's years. Pretty effective. Once they get about four feet, they're okay. But until then, they need shade. They don't like full sun. But they're so great. Look at the leaves. I mean, yeah. it's such a tropical it's such looking a tropical, plant, right? One of, yeah, one of our nice tropical, tropical yeah. natives. Yeah. Yes. Fruits. Yes. Yes. And, and they don't last that long, right? The, the fruit, it, it's like, that's well, why you don't see it in the markets, right? They don't ship well. They don't ship well, yeah. exactly. They because who look, wants to look at a, a fruit that has black spots right. in it? Because you'll never see a yeah. banana with yeah. black yeah. spots in a supermarket, right. Right? right? Because for aesthetic reasons, we've been taught no good. But yeah. there's a lot of people who like the sugariness of the banana when it's just starting to show those spots. Perfect for banana bread too. Exactly. Or smoothie. But mm -hmm. this is very, they're much more perishable, but we found when we have a ton of fruit mm -hmm. that if we freeze them when they're ripe, mm -hmm. they make the best pawpaw ice cream because it's, they're like, you just peel it back and they're frozen yeah. and they're so delicious. So we, we uh, used to make breads and stuff with them. It's a waste really. Yeah. I'd rather just eat them out of hand. They're they, so they come flavorful. in around sips, first, second week of September. September here, I yeah. like when they just start to get soft. They have kind of a coconut banana flavor yeah. rather than they're more fermented. That's that. I think I like, well, I like it a little bit more fermented. So it works. There's enough for both yeah. of us. Yeah. Is this Which another type of current? Is this yeah. a current? Native. This is our native. So is this black or red? Yeah, this is black. Okay. So just starting, try. Yeah. I love this. Um, Me I'm not very so much. lucky. My like husband doesn't like it. I like red I'm, too. I like the red the best. Yeah, My mom used to that. make crepes with them and it was so good. So so good. Before we exit, I have gooseberries and currants and stuff for your mm. for your new place just remind amazing. me yeah this we actually found on a rail trail little it's not plants that bad, but i prefer the red mm. yeah mm. we may have mm. some mm. of the white here try that one mm. so good mm. go around this way the um, mulberry and then around that yeah so these are american persimmons that's a zucchus that's a really excellent small slow growing mm. fruit. fruits yeah there's there's some of the fruits forming right above you yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there's one right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Zucca sounds like sugar. <laughs> Thornless blackberries, um, not quite ripe yet. This one Variety. This one enjoy. Good, try. enjoy. Yeah, try. Mm, very good. Um, this is new. This is a white mulberry. A, that a, a Korean varietal. That's right. a mulberry guy, so he insisted. I was like, okay, another mulberry. But the, Do you have um, a native mulberry? No, I have, these are varietals selected right. for okay. high quality fruit. Okay. Because those tend to, the fruit flavor on them can it's be very great. insipid yeah. as well. An herb bed. So I have a, because I'm from California, everybody planted sage. So I, I've tried to I have a bed that's like got oh, four, 40 salvia. salvia. It's yeah. only salvia. Uh, 
Wait, Go but ahead. you went by the herb beds so quick, Scott. I know. See, You're like, the herb beds. Sander, you could just like roll around in here. Yeah. Smell that. No, Ooh, that, that, that one is nice, that, too. That Santolina. Oh, the Santolina. Yeah, we planted this in uh, in the one bed that we have. Wonderful. I love this. I like this smell. Apple mint? Yeah. Apple yeah. Mint. And then mm, this. Nice. You're probably familiar with that. That's a great house plant. It looks like a wisteria almost. Try the leaf. I think that'll be the giveaway. Oh, is this a curry? Yeah. 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 yeah I've, ha I've had this growing. Mm -hmm. And bay leaf we bring in and mm -hmm. out. Um, mm, apple mint. Yummy. Another mm. quince, an older variety, kind of from the 30s and 40s, called boyer. Um, yeah, our red currants are long gone. So this is a, the salvia bed. Hot lips, the white and yeah. red one over there. Is this, uh, there's, I just planted wind walker. Mm. Is, do you know that one? It has yeah. a really beautiful red. Mm. It reminds me of this kind of red. We, we have a subtropical um, salvia. This is it. It reseeds itself every year. It's that, it's that scarlet color. It, that, that's what it is. This one looks almost like eggplant or... Is yeah, it's a dark eggplant? purple. Yeah. It's a dark purple. There's another form of it. It's that, that's, I think, um, Jasneria, which is, uh, it's a cultivar of Jasneria, which is um, anise-scented hmm. uh, um, sage. The leaves kind of have an anise What is that with the very drapey leaves? That's Japan. This is all Japan. So okay. That's wild Japanese yam. Septum lobus. It's um, Dioscoria septum lobus. And it produces these beautiful, uh, tiny, delicate flowers and then these seed pods. Yeah. And this is ground up and used in Japanese cooking. It, does, this pro does this provide, like, so it's a, a tuber? Huge, long tuber. Okay. It becomes like the size of a human leg, okay. gigantic, huge. And I was also looking at this. Yeah, that's uh, Endocalmus. That uh, used to be called Sasa tessellata. Mm. Uh, that is technically not from Japan. Right. <laughs> it's uh, planted in here and it's. Um, was given to me by an art teacher friend of mine named Holt Murray, who's passed on, is not alive anymore. And so I think of that, him, so I don't want to move it. I like it mm. here. It's probably from China. And this is a camellia. And is this a fatsia? Yeah. Do, yeah. Is it hard, yeah. is that, it's hardy here? No, no we keep almost. it in the okay. pot oh, there. Yeah. But we have the one that is hardy. Yeah. It dies to the ground and suckers. It's rice, rice. Rice, rice plant. plant. It's okay. over yeah. there. It's, it's got. It was close to the bamboos yeah. that escaped out in the south garden. Yeah. We have wasabi back here too. It's Ooh. it survived too. So the land that we're hoping to get is all of this behind us. So over time, nice. Japan can kind this of is a beautiful spread out. In in a bit more it is this is like wool texture. Wow. Yeah. That, it's like a hydrangea. It is a hydrangea. Yeah. It's so gorgeous. I love it. Did you feel the leaves? Yeah. Like, like felty uh, and yeah. they're weird. So this is wasabi. And mine is flowered. I want, I, I'm planting more. I'm going to plant a whole bunch of these. That's uh, Japanese wax bells. This is all kind of shade stuff here. Yeah. Udo. That's another traditional in Aurelia of is Japanese like an people. Alpinia or? Uh, that's, that's ginger. That's, that's, that's another one of the, this is a variegated form of Miyaga ginger. So, okay, so it's a zing, still a zing gibber. Yeah, okay. yeah. I do have an alpinia one, okay. uh, uh, but that's not quite hardy. Yeah. Um, so, we need a lot of, I so need to cut. this is your border then? Yeah, so okay. we're going to, that's the land out there we want right, to buy, okay. the swamp and, yeah. Do you, did you know that the Cleodendrum? The, um, did you ever smell the leaf of that? No. Oh, so rub the leaf on that. Yeah, okay, this is so. the same clear dendron that we have out there. Oh, it's like, um, oh, gosh, when you really try it, you, you're at a loss for the I way know, it smells. I'm sorry, that's not fair because, but they call it the peanut butter shrub. Mm, yeah, or the smell Yeah, that, right? Yeah. Oh, this one's already flowering. I know, it's, it's very... Only well, been here a year. The, the south garden yeah, is so floriferous Huge right amounts. now. Very exciting. Oh, what? Also yeah, open. okay, that yeah. one, the big, the, 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 this, big one? the big one was way more smelly than that, the smaller one. This was a little wow. bit of seed stealing from the Arnold. <laughs> Well, there were thousands well, of little babies. They had seedlings all over and, and they were so mowing. I, and I picked so three or four of them up. and so We didn't charge them for, you know, weeding. This is Japanese Szechuan pepper. This is uh, 
Zanthro? Xanthos xylem uh, pi pi piper related item. related to your other Sichuan? Yeah, 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 it's a sister species. Yeah, those leaves have that same intense smell. Yeah, and that's a Japanese snowbell tree, a really beautiful, elegant. Ooh, lemony. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I like the smell Very too. Very good. Beautiful. And that's a Japanese buckeye tree and, there. yeah we need a whole bunch of more so we're just kind of filling in this area this is one of the newer areas Quartet. for us yeah. yes yeah. Yeah. yeah i love we love that family we have yeah, about beautiful. four of them the beautiful wow. yeah really yeah. yeah i don't know if they really provide much like wildlife interest or anything they like get that eaten by squirrels and chipmunks okay. and stuff unfortunately a lot of them are there, a leaf there's scorch. a leaf scorch, a, a bacterial fungus that makes them look like they've been blowtorched. They look, mm -hmm. uh, I would say the yeah. buckeye out there, we have. I noticed some of the buckeye. Yeah. 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 It's pretty typical, I think those are the most beautiful trees we have. I yeah. think those are more beautiful even than all of our magnolias. We have 20 magnolias, wow. I say that. But yet. But they have the beautiful drape, yeah. the flower, white flowers. and well, Oh, we they, have, these go up. We have some. Fort okay. Mc, we have one that's a Fort McNear that's yellow and pink. Oh. And oh. like cones. Like big, big yellow flowers. and pink. Yeah, wow. Beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Really? I think that's beautiful. our most beautiful tree. Yeah. Car stop. Yeah. And they're like, wow. Uh, but yeah, but then better. but then from the midpoint of summer it looks like someone has blowtorched like, the whole yeah, tree. It looks, like it looks horrible. Yeah. And that's why they're not <laughs> yeah. more widely popular as trees. I like the, I love this one, uh, hot lips. The cool. that's salvia gregii. That's almost hardy. Um so, but this is brought in as a potted plant, I'm yeah. afraid. And as, so, yeah. Give it 20 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When this becomes like a zone seven or eight. Uh, Cornelian, Cornelian cherry. cherry. Wonderful. This is Cornus moss. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wonderful. I talk a lot about this plant because in the dogwood family, it's one of those that doesn't mind being in partial shade yeah. condition. And although it takes a while for it to fruit and you need to have more than one tree, it's gorgeous flowers in er, you know, really early spring with yellow. It's such a better plant than forsythia. Mm -hmm. It supports pollinators. Yeah. It flowers even earlier than forsythia. Is Cornus florida our only native one? Yes, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and there's other, the, there's the shrub other. dogwood family. Oh, yeah. Cornus so yeah, and all yeah, that, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. red twig dogwood, and those are all. And then you have your Cornus canadensis, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, this is, that's interesting. This is one of the ones that I'd like to do in like this little understory planting mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, you get, get a grafted variety. Yeah. That one's Sunrise. Yeah. Phenomenal equality fruit. Yeah. Um, the, oh, this is Sunrise. The wild one. This, this is, is a like, straight species. Yeah, it's like, okay, it's okay. not. This is really, really good. We actually just no. chopped this down a bit because I wanted to see like how does that it, up there yeah, it, it's competing too much with um if you could see here that's our european hazelnut yep so um, that was that was claret red purple the whole spring it's so beautiful. isn't it that gorgeous yeah. and then here again here's the hazelnut and the the catkins are our burgundy yeah. purple too beautiful. yeah so you get that really in the oops. late fall oh, yeah. I, everything about this plant is stunning yeah, yeah. beautiful um you know, this year, because we've had a lot of water, hopefully the nuts will fill out. Some years, like last year, was a little bit too much right. drought. Yeah. And so you get very excited because they look like the nuts have filled and then you open them up and there's nothing it's in like there. It's like yeah, it's yeah. like, and because we're excited because we got them and the squirrels and chipmunks didn't, but yeah. they must have known there was no <laughs> nut meat in it. Oh, yeah. the, the, the best medieval fruit mm -hmm. name? Open arse or horse's anus fruit. <laughs> this is medlar, medieval <laughs> fruit name, popular yeah. fruit name. Brought in from from Europe, Turkey, Turkey. I, Iran mm -hmm. in the Middle mm -hmm. Ages. As part does it of the taste like an open arse? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I can tell you what it does taste like it when it. So this is a fruit like persimmon where it needs to bleat. Mm -hmm. So it's not quite rotting, but they mm -hmm. think about it as rotting because you basically are waiting for the sugars to. Um, to change and what happens is the fruit goes from being hard as a rock mm -hmm. to soft and it tastes mm -hmm. like applesauce like mm. the consistency is similar mm -hmm. yeah. i kind of get a berry hint from it scott gets more cinnamon and what's so cool about this is that the fruit persists even when the tree goes deciduous so that you have these kind of ruddy reddish brown fruits that hang on the the this tree 
and then you can come out and eat them. In so January you don't, in, and February wow. when there's too yeah. few snow on the ground. Wow. And, and so you pick them when it gets frozen. Yeah, so when it's frost kissed, yeah. it that's when the the, the fruit so changes mushy. the texture. Okay. So it's almost like kind of like a parsnip or whatever. It gets yes, better it when is. it's you know exactly. okay. Or like yeah. Persimmon where even that little bit of cold. We used to bless them where you pick them and you bring them in and let them soften inside. Yeah. But a friend of ours said, don't do that. Just, Just let them, them get on, squishy on, on the, the tree. Just yeah. leave them. Yeah. And then if you look at the form of it and not look at our um, steak that needs to yeah. be <laughs> to move. But the shape of it reminds a lot of people of a uh, apple tree. Mm -hmm. And so people don't, a lot of people don't realize that um, this was depicted in a lot of medieval tapestries. Yeah. As the, the, the Met cloister of the woman <laughs> sitting with a unicorn. An apple. Yeah. There was that, that tapestry of a yeah. woman sitting with a unicorn in the Met. It's a medlar. It's, it's, it's a medlar tree behind it. Yeah. And I doubly love this because this, wow. has, this is grafted on quince. Yeah. And, and so all the suckers can be cut and used as grafting oh, stock for cool. medlar. That's great. Yeah. And then the flowers are beautiful, white, camellia-like. Uh -huh. They're simple, but they're beautiful, stunning early, mid-spring flowers that just are very, again, floriferous and um, low maintenance. We do nothing. We do every couple of years give it, you know, new soil, compost. Um, and this is, look at the height. This is 20 yeah. years old. Yeah. 19 years old. And it looks so. craggy and ancient already. Yeah, yeah. yeah I This love is it. found in monasteries still in France and Europe. Mm -hmm. That's where you find these trees. They're kind of less known. Well, this is amazing. I mean, you have like such history here. It's so, it's so nice to see. And look, you have Chinese may yeah. may apples yeah. too. Yeah. A, there's Himalayan oh, look apples. at that. Look at that. Isn't that great? Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Apparently these, because of podophyllin, be a chemical compound being used for cancer um, fighting. Oh, they were overharvested. They were they're being overharvested. In Asia, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. This oh, was like, this so, was, so this welcome. was such a nice introduction. I'm glad we could actually make our way here to yeah, the Finger Lakes because so this gives us a lot of inspiration for our land as well. Like, that's great because that's what we try to do for people, yeah. really. I mean, yeah. like, because, you know, we say it takes three times plant something that you kill it yeah. and then you finally figure out what it takes to make this plant happy. Yeah. So we're like like to share this information with people. I struggle through it if we've kind of stumbled through it this way. Plus we're just plant fanatics so we're always trying to get plants from different areas and so we'd love to hear people get inspired and want to do something on their own land and go crazy with it. We just want to take the time and say thank you to all the subscribers and supporters of Flock. We're committing 10% of our Google AdSense revenue back to the community here. Plus, it'll be matched by our partners at Espoma Organic. So when you view and subscribe, all of that makes a difference to us and the community here. So thank you.